By the way, Varka was the first one to follow Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I got it, I got it. Okay, so. Varka with no fault, yeah. Yeah, but he's writing the Injil, man. Come on. Ibn Abbas says, Oh, Muslims, why do you ask the Hadith? 2685. Okay, so Ibn Abbas um, narrated um, Ubaidullah bin Abdullah bin Qutbah. Ibn Abbas says, O oh Muslims, he said, O oh Muslims, how do you ask the people of the scriptures? Through know your book, the Quran, which was revealed to his prophet, is the most recent information from Allah, and you recite it, the book that has not been distorted. Allah has revealed to you that the people of the scriptures have changed their, with their own hands what was revealed to them, and they have said, This is from Allah, in order to get some worldly benefit thereby. Yeah. Okay. So, he's saying that the, this book has not been corrupted and uh, the people of the scriptures have it. Yeah. And now, they've corrupted who, who's saying with this? their own hands. Ibn Abbas is saying this yeah. about Muhammad saying it. Yeah. Right? Okay. But Allah didn't say it. So, did. No, he. I can show you Where another. Did Allah I can say? Show, just give me a few right. minutes. So I can Muhammad find you, can I can find your hadith. Before. Ibn Abbas can, can say okay. anything. Well, well, so if the Sahih prophet, Buhari can say anything. No, if, you're not getting sure. the point. Sure. Right? You're, you're basing your faith on, on uh, you know, Ibn Abbas, who's narrating something from the Prophet. Fine. Sure. But where did Allah say that this book is corrupt? Because Allah is the one who said what, you that's have... Giving, that's giving an understanding wait, wait, of... Right, just let me complete. See, Allah is the one who's telling me to judge by the Injil. Okay. But Allah didn't say that my book is corrupted. Somebody else is saying it's corrupted. You, you get the point here. Okay. Allah didn't can, say can, it. Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, so what's your understanding of the early Muslims? Do you feel like that from what you're talking right now? You guys are making the point that... Okay, sunnah.com, Bukhari 3392. Can I, can I, can I, can I, okay. point? Okay. You guys, from what you're saying now, is that you feel the early Muslims, Sahaba and Sahabi maybe, that they, they had the understanding that the Injil was there with the Christians. Mm -hmm. Yes, of that's, course. That's what you're saying. Yeah? Uh, that, that's what the text giving, I gave you a hadith there, the which explains says. what... You have to read things in context, right? Okay, so, so if this is a widespread understanding amongst the Sahaba, okay, that the Prophet was saying this, that the people of the book have corrupted the scriptures with their own hands, okay, then of course, like, the early Muslims believe that. So you didn't get my question. Yeah. If that is true, if that is accurate, yeah. and I've got other hadiths as well. If, it's true. Right, right. Yeah. If that is true and if that is accurate, Allah is making a mistake by telling me to judge by something that has already been corrupted. And now do you, do you do get you, my point. But if people, if people thought that, do you get my would point? they not have confronted No, I'm prophet. asking you. Do you get my point? Yeah. So somebody is coming and telling me that the book is corrupted. You yeah. want to read it? That's yes, your please. understanding right. please of read the Quranic passages. No, no, no. You are you telling me the that the book the is corrupted. Okay, can I get a chance to speak now? Uh, 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 but Allah, Allah didn't know what the early Muslims are talking about. Okay. Allah had okay. no clue. Let me explain. Because he didn't say it. You, are, Do you, you make still point? don't understand my point. No, make your point, make your point. Okay, my point is very clear. You're saying the Sahaba believed that the Injil was corrupted. I have no problem with them believing that the Injil was corrupted. Like Allah had no idea about it because he didn't mention it. Because he told me, not the Sahaba. It's a very didn't tell easy you point, man. Just make it simple. Yeah. The Allah, Allah didn't, Allah didn't that. know that. Allah should have said, uh, how yeah. can he say that when the book is corrupted? Allah how can no Allah clue. say something when Sahaba the book is corrupted? Sahaba come after that and decide, oh my gosh, it's Some corrupted. Some people cannot see so your can eyes. I, can I say, no, can, that's my point. You understand me? Uh, it's alright. So, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, you're saying now that. So, right. first of all, I understand. That's two parts there. The yeah. first part I want to make sure we're all clear on, okay? So the mm. first part we're clear on is that the Sahaba understood that the NGO was corrupted to some degree. Mm -hmm. We all, all right. agree on that? No, we don't. That, that's, what, that's what you're saying. You're claiming yes, fine. That's yeah, your fine, claim, fine. man. Okay. Fine, yeah. fine. Okay. I know you're not going to talk, say yeah. But okay. So, yeah. The second part there, you're saying um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, um, for the people of the book to judge by their scripture, mm. by, by what they, ha well, well, by the injil. In multiple by the injil. Places. It says by the injil, okay? Right. So, it is a duty upon the people of the book to look into the injil and try and see what is the true injil, right? What? What does that mean? 
Where does it say? Where the, Allah is not telling us. Allah, See, Allah is hiding the fact. Allah is uh, deceiving again, not telling the, them. Look, you have to look very carefully because it's been distorted. No. No, be, be, be because fair. the Quran, be fair the Quran to me is now. also. If yeah, your sure. book is true, yeah. how am I to know what is what is the actual remnants? Okay, okay, okay. So you help me and understand sure, and sure. tell me which is the actual remnants and Quran, which is not. It refers to the Quran itself as the criterion, right? For mm. the, for so the whatever the Quran so. is, uh, then that's correct, and the rest is wrong. Okay, we got the point. Let me read this real quick. Well Give me a chance. Sorry. Okay, uh, I got the point, man. I, he's just going on and on. Bro, I get the point. Don't worry about it. it just listen to this, okay. Bukhari. Uh, Bukhari is a uh, Sahih, right? 3392. I mean, Sahih al Bukhari. Not everything in Bukhari. Not everything. Right. So right. then I, I'm, I'm saying that what you read yeah, but now in Sahih Bukhari, you, can not you, everything is that, right. That's correct. Yes, no, no, everything saying, is okay. On the whole, on no, no. The whole, I'm saying you whatever is. No, we have a tradition cherry pick it. of critiquing. Okay. Right? Okay. We have a tradition of critiquing. But I have a so tradition of critiquing. I didn't get a chance to read it, man. Sorry, sorry. Let me finish this one point. Sorry. Because if you're saying that, then I have to throw that hadith out because Allah didn't say that. It directly contradicts what Allah told me. All right. Let yeah. me read this, please. Please do. Okay, but I'm reading Sahih al-Bukhari 3392. The Prophet returned to Khatija uh, while his heart was beating. Uh, man, my eyes are so... Uh, okay. uh, hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me just turn it here so I can make it a little bit bigger. That's all I need. Yeah, there you go. Now I can read it. Okay. She took him to Warqab in Nofil, who was a Christian convert. Listen to this. Who was? Uh, she took him to Warqab in Nofil, who was a Christian convert. Yeah, he used to... Uh, he used to read the Gospels in Arabic. Mm. Warka asked Prophet, what did you see? Now, how was he reading the Gospel in Arabic? Because he had it there. And was not corrupted. The Gospel. It says the Gospel. Yeah. The gospel. Again, I'm so saying, you read don't it. get confused. Why are you Please don't get confused. Yeah. Again, I'm, I'm even not... No, no, it says here. Gospels. Gospel. No, no, it says Gospels. Gospels. Actually, it is Gospels. No, 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 no. It is Gospels. S says, S. It is Gospels. Again, the gospels. Matthew, Mark, and Luke, the, what, what Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is still Gospel. But this is uh, Sunnah.com. Uh, uh, Sunnah.com. Does, Sunnah does that mean that Sunnah.com doesn't have any grammatical mistakes in English? So are you saying you guys don't know how to translate Arabic to English? Okay, can we Google translate it? Can we Google translate it? Okay, guys, fine. Oh, Arabic guy, can you please read the Arabic for me and tell me if it's Gospel or Gospels, plural or singular? That you're in using Arabic. to throw in out Arabic. other Sahih yeah. yes. hadiths from yeah. Sahih Buhari, yeah. I have to use it to throw, throw out this hadith because, again, I'm making the same point. Allah didn't. Allah told me to judge by something, and now you're coming back and telling me why you that, guys that put S. You guys Allah are liars. No. You put. So are you adding to Allah, or do you have clarity that Allah didn't have? So your so Sunnah.com put Injils, Gospels. I don't care. I care about the um, ayah. Right? I care about the that text. Is, text is that is singular. Is, that is your understanding. If you your your sunnah.com is lying. Tell the sunnah.com to stop lying. Given the context that the early Sahaba understood that the Injil was corrupted by the people of the book, by their own hands, and was distorted. The early Sahaba understood that. I understand that. that. Yeah. Oh, Warka had that right Injil, man. Ask that, him that. Was it, was it a contradiction or was it the two? It was gospel. It was gospel. Singular. Singular. singular, singular. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In yeah. Arabic. But, but, in, uh, but in English, they put, translated the Muslim sunnah. Yeah, but that's a mistake. It's a grammatical mistake. Sunnah.com is not. It's not a grammatical mistake. We don't say yeah, in Chile. Explain to me this contradiction Chile. where Allah is telling me in multiple yeah, places they, they wrote no, 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 about no, no, no. using wrote my Gospels. Anjil, Ar using the Kitab Ar that I have, yes. okay, that was okay. available. Torah, Torah is a singular, but it has several books. Well. Ask him, what did they say in there. Arabic about Torah? And then the Sahaba Torah? comes and says, no, it's corrupted. Torah, Torah. Why? Are you aware of like... No, you know. Did you name Anjil yourself? Did you Anjil... Did you name Anjil yourself? Name. Who named Torah Injil? Torah, Who is na Torah is the name. What does Torah mean? What does it mean? Okay. Torah is the name. What, is what does it mean? mean? Huh? Tell me, tell me what, what does it mean? Tell me. <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. What does it mean? That? Torah has a meaning. Okay. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of Torah? I know. I Man, we're talking about singular. Yeah, the Torah is a singular, you but it has several came, books in it. In Jil is a singular. It has several books yeah, in it. Is it came from the word Basara, yes or no? What is, what is, what is yeah, it? No. 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 You're such a liar. How can say there is no? Yeah. Listen, yeah. first okay, of all, you don't understand what the, the argument is. Yeah. Tell me what is the meaning of Torah. 
I don't want to get into that now. I'm not oh, finishing this. Oh, yeah. what now? Tell me what's the meaning. No, 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 no. Why, why, why are you asking you? Okay, no, no, no. You're saying is that Injil, Injil is singular. It has plural. It has books in it. Torah is singular. It has books in it. Even in the Bible, it does clearly say the gospel according to Mark. The gospel. The gospel according to Matthew. The gospel according to John. The gospel according That's right. Very clearly. So we don't have Injils. I'm saying, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying, why do you believe in that New Testament gospel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm saying that, okay, you're saying the Quran directs Christians to, um, to go by the Injil. That, that Warqa bin Rofel was reading from. In multiple places again. It's not in one. It's multiple places. It's repeated. And it's repeated several times, yeah. They so never the said that the Bible is corrupted. Yeah, it's saying the Injil, okay? The Injil. If you guys go by my worldview for a second. Go ahead. Okay. If your four Gospels, are, um, are corrupted versions of the original Injil, mm -hmm. right? If they're corrupted versions of the original Injil, and then um, the Quran is saying, go by the Injil, then it's referring to the original Injil, right? That God and it right. clarifies so, that Allah okay. Just, reveal. Hold on. That's what I'm saying. Be fair to me, be fair to yeah. me, because Allah is giving some incorrect instructions here. Oh. And he's telling me to judge by the Injil, knowing fully well that it's going to be corrupted later on. So either Allah is making a mistake, no, it's not hold on, let me finish. Either Allah, see, let, let me give you all the things, because Allah told me very clearly, okay, Allah is speaking to me and to him. He's telling us that you have to judge only by the Injil, okay, the Kitab, let's say the Kitab, yeah? uh, which includes the Torah, etc. So he told us to do this by the Kitab. Yeah. And now, either Allah does not know that it's going to be corrupted, so he forgot that it's going to be corrupted, or something like that, or, or at the time that Allah said that, it was not corrupted, but after that, the Sahaba knew that it was corrupted. I just told you. No. Okay, you're no. willingly If being this happens, if the Sahaba knew that it was corrupted at the time that Allah revealed it was not corrupted, and that's the point that you're going to... That means the Quran is not for all time. It was only for that time period. Right, Do you understand? How, how, how? Well, because the, uh, at the time Allah revealed it, the Kitab was not corrupted. But later on, it got corrupted, according to you. Then the Quran, it means, is not for all time because it's telling me today to judge by that. Okay. So either one, okay, either okay, Allah okay, didn't okay. know, can I, can I, can I or the Quran back? is not okay, for all okay. time. So I'm saying the Injil, the Christians, the Injil that they believed in was corrupted at the time of the Prophet. So at the time it Allah says that, it it says that was using the hadiths that I just used. See, no, no, it no, says listen that to the this. Of the book Mike, can you give me a chance? Please. Okay, no, no, no. I'm, say, I'm saying, okay, 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 okay. I'm saying that the Injil itself, so when I use the word Injil, that is the teaching and message of Isa alayhi salam. The Injil is the teaching and message of Isa alayhi salam, right? What you guys are trying to do is correlate the Injil, right, with the Gospels. So even according to your book, right? Even Injil according mean? to your book, wait, what does Injil even mean? according to your book, what does Injil mean? Good news in Manjilian. Yeah. Yes. So, so that I'm is I'm the gospel. Yeah, that, that is gospel means gospel uh, good news. news. Yeah, yeah. So, so why are you differentiating yeah. between the two? You just differentiated I'm between Injil and the yeah, gospel. Yeah, yeah. It's you the you same why. thing. Because your own. Even the are you trying to confuse thing. people watching? Even your four gospels, right? Mm. Even your gospels and your New Testament refers to the gospel of Jesus Christ. So when it says they taught the gospel of Jesus Christ, is it referring? That to means the good news. Yeah. What does gospel mean? So I'm saying the Quran teaches that. What? That no, no, no. Okay, listen, Mike. Listen, Mike. Like, Mike, can, can I say something, please? Like, Mike, listen, oh. please. Before he said, yeah. you remember, he said, I said, when was the uh, Bible corrupted? He said, well, you know, then it was written yeah. down in 70 AD. It was corrupted when it was written yeah. down. Now he's saying it was corrupted the, until the, the, very good point. Very good point. If very it was corrupted, he's just, it's on video. It. He doesn't even realize he's on video. Allah didn't know about it. And now people are going to start laughing. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not know when I'm saying that it's clarified in the Hadith literature what this means? Listen, you, I asked you on camera. It says, I, I can asked even, you on camera. I can get you. Is that, wait, just give me, is that just give instruction me one for me and for him? You said, yes, that instruction is for me and for him, right? Now, if that instruction is for me and for him, but the book was corrupted in AD 70, 70 even before Allah uh, could reveal yeah, yeah. that, then either something's wrong with Allah or you, the way you're or interpreting your, it is wrong that you got to judge by the truth in your scripture. Okay, now the you Injil help me understand the truth then. in your scripture. Then okay. you have to help yeah. me. What is the truth and what is not the truth in the yeah, scripture? Yeah, so you use the Quran as a criterion, that the Quran has come for all mankind as a criterion mm -hmm. to judge the old scripture by. So and now I have to go to the Quran yeah. and not to my book, which, no, which no, clearly no, says you have that. To, you can go uh, by your own book, you can mm. go by the Injil, you can see the multiple corruptions that your gospels have and okay. see that it's not from God. 
right? Mm -hmm. And then you can establish the fact that the Quran has no right. contradictions. Right, but the Quran doesn't say it has corruption. Does the Quran say it has corruptions? Yeah, it just says. So show me. How many times after? No, no. You are you talking about they 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 they're getting paid to distort the 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 word. Okay, now are you going to that verse? Just say yes. No, no, I'm not going to that Which verse are you going to? You Which verse said that the Bible... If you actually, you know, Sam, like, um, arguments don't get won by TikTok, right? Like, we need to have some yeah, patience yeah, yeah. here. No, no, no. I need to All right, go ahead, fine, Sam, fine, fine. No, remember, because he said he already gave us the word. I'm just asking which one was it? Was it the one where it says, you I know... I gave you a hadith. I gave you a hadith. And what did the hadith say? Oh, it was a talking about... Uh, the Bible, uh, the, the Gospels that you guys have, uh -huh. and how they've been distorted, right? That's what it. So, un Uncle Sam, if you notice before, you asked him, you asked him, yeah. right? And so, where does it say that uh, only the truth in the gospel? It doesn't say that. The text yeah. doesn't say that at all. No, and he's, if it's he a has hadith, to make that no, up no, no. What he's telling me to is make his point. No, what he's just saying is that he believes in the hadith, not the Quran. Now, the Quran is saying the Bible hasn't been corrupted, but he's believing the hadith, which says it has been corrupted. The Quran never so says that, that. No, no, no. It never says that. Yeah. He's going to put that aside. Because he's a real Muslim and a real Muslim believes in the Hadith, not the Quran. Yeah. Right? But when it comes to Muta, he believes in the Quran. No, no, he believes in the Hadith. <laughs> okay. Because the Quran, yeah, because says, the Quran says you can have, you can have Muta, but Hadith says don't have Muta. So, is, is are Muslims supposed to follow Hadith or Quran? Because Quran is, Hadith is contradicting the Quran. One place okay, you're not me, supposed to... Let me read this for you guys. Let me read this for you guys. So this is um, Al-Hakim related in Al-Mustadrak, the following hadith. Okay, which hadith is this? Is this Sahih hadith? Yes. Give us the reference so we can find it. If you give, no, no, no. Can you give us the reference yeah. with it so we can it's find no, it? No, in Bukhari and Muslim, so you guys no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I gave you the Bukhari reference. You got to give me the reference, please. I'm going to give you the reference after I read it. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, I want the reference first. You want the reference first. You want the reference first. Okay. Okay, so this... Um, um, Al-Hakim, right? So the person who... Al-Hakim is not supposed to be a Hasai hadith. Commented, this hadith is authentic according to the standards of Al-Bukhari and Muslim, but they did not relate it. This hadith was also related by Al-Tabrani in Al-Mujam Al Al-Kabir. Volume 8, page 31. Okay, so he's but, giving us a very it, obscure hadith. It's it not a Sahih hadith. But in this case, it's going to become Sahih. Just watch. You, okay, this is a... Yeah, yeah, it's going to be fine. First, right? Yeah, yeah, go so, ahead. Okay, I did because I knew you were not coding the Sahih Hadith. That's why I asked for it. Okay. Now we just well, know well, it on camera on, that you're you coding... You think the Hadith are only in Bukhari and Muslim? No, no, no. So, are, you, are you saying that they're... So, hang on, hang on. Uh -huh. so let, me, let me... You first, every time I'm reading, you stop me. Because you know that it dismantles your whole religion. So, okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, can you... It's not Sahih. Can you, can you, can you... Even according to you... It's okay, let him, let him, let it go, let it go. Can you, can you, let me read... Do you want to read the Hadith first or do you want me to read the... Um, read the Hadith. The reference. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. You did read the reference, didn't no, you? No, I, I didn't finish. Okay, I didn't finish. finished okay. it. Okay, so Al-Hakim commented, this Hadith is authentic according to the standards of Al-Bukhari and Muslim, but they did not relate it. This Hadith was also related by at tabarani in Al-Mujam Al-Kabir, um, volume 8, page 31, but it includes Al-Nahas Ibn Fahm, who's a weak narrator. Okay, okay, okay. Ibn Imam Ahmed Ibn Hanbal related it with a sound chain of transmission in his Musnad, volume 4, page 381. Okay, so there, it's, in, it's narrated by... Um, Ahmed ibn Hanbal. Okay, with the following chain, Abdullah told us, my father ibn Hanbal told me, Mu'az ibn Hisham told us, my father told me, Al Qasim ibn Kof, ibn Af, Af, a man from Al Kufa, one of um, Bani Mura ibn Hamam told me, Mu'az ibn Jabal radiallahu anhu told us that and mentioned the hadith. This hadith has been authenticated by ibn Hajar al Haytami in his Majma al Zawai, volume okay. 4, page 312. He said, of the narrators in this chain, their men are men of authenticity. So there, I've given you the full okay. reference mm -hmm. with um, Ahmed and Humble, yes, all of these people, yeah. right? Okay. So, the great scholars. Okay, so, um, Al-Hakim related in Al-Mustadrak the following hadith. Um, okay. Abu, Abu Abdullah Muhammad ibn Abdullah al safar told us, Ahmed ibn Mahdi ibn Rustun al Asfahani told us, Muaz ibn Hisham ad Tistwani told us, my father told me, Al Qasim ibn Auf Ash Shaybani told me, Shaytani? Shaybani oh, told shay me, yes. Muaz ibn Jabal radiya Allahu anhu told us that he went to Sham 
and saw the Christians prostrate to their bishops and priests and saw the Jews prostrate to their rabbis and scholars. He said, why do you do this? They answered, this is the greeting of the prophets, peace be upon them. Which prophet? He said, we better do this to our prophet. Allah's prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, they lied about their prophets just as they distorted their book. Okay, so there. Okay, so, so you... Fantastic, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Now, why didn't Allah say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying he did, did okay, say so, it. Allah no, no. was a king. Let, let's Al Shaitani knew what Allah didn't know. <laughs> king Charles gives me an order. Okay, he okay. gives me an order that I have to judge. They, they, they worship their rabbis and monks. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah. Well, that's Allah that. did say it. Allah did say it. One minute, brother. So, the king tells me, okay, let's okay, say that so, he's an absolute monarch and he gives an instruction and says that I have to judge by a book. And then after that, all his courtiers, they say, you know what, your book is corrupt. And you tell me, do you listen to the king? That's a good analogy, man. I like that analogy. These courtiers so, 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 repeat, come repeat, and repeat, say that. Oh, come on, man. Pay attention, so, so, bro. No, I know. No, I was just, I was just. The monarch, okay, yeah. an absolute monarch. He's in charge. He gives me a, a, an instruction. Yeah. Okay, you have to obey the rules that is written in a certain sure. book. Sure. Okay, in the law book. Mm -hmm. And then after that, after he gives his instructions, his courtiers or his prime minister or whatever, they come and tell me, you know what, your book is corrupt. Now tell me yeah. what the so, dilemma I'm in. Either there's something wrong with the king or there's something wrong with his courtiers. Now you decide who, okay. who's wrong. So you're explaining Either an analogy. I don't like to use this analogy, but I'll use it for this case. Just sorry, okay. So a king tells you to judge by a certain book. book. A so certain, certain book. He says, yeah. judge by that book. Okay. Yeah. The all knowing okay. king. Okay, the all knowing king, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Let me explain like this, okay? What do you want to call the book? Whatever you want to call it. Just book of law or something. Just book of law, book of truth. A little bit Book of truth. Book of truth. Come on, let's just call it book of truth. Let's go. Okay, book of yeah. truth. Uh, because Jesus was the truth. Oh, no, okay. The book is... No, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You have to give it a name. <laughs> it is a name. The okay. book of truth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's say... Uh, what? The some, book of God. Let's say fairies book of God. Book of God. Yeah. Book of God. Okay, fa fairy. Fairy, okay. So, okay. The book is called fairy. Yeah. Okay, let me use the Elohim, book. Elohim. Elohim, okay. Elohim. Okay, so the book is called the Book of Elohim. Okay. Yeah. Um, the king says, um, judge by the Book of Elohim. Elohim. But you I, I, I want to I I use a word that's not like associated with like, you know, with any, Okay, well then use a secular word, uh, the Book of um, Judges or something. How about that? Let me think, let me think. Cause it's the, uh, really important to the argument, it's really important. Why? Okay, it's, the Psalms, the Psalms. Okay, Psalms, yeah? Mm. Okay. Okay, so the book is called Psalms. Okay. Uh, the book is called um, a collection of psalms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay. A collection of right. psalms. So the book yeah. is called a collection of psalms. The king says to you, judge by the psalms that were revealed to David, Islam, right? Mm -hmm. You have the book of psalms. Yeah. David, Islam, in his lifetime, he would preach the psalm, singular, and it, he would preach that the psalm. And okay, the king says, judge by the psalm. Yeah, you have a collection called the book, the books of Psalm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So let me use it like that then. Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to repeat it because I want to make it really, really clear. Okay. You have the books of Psalm. Um, a king tells you to judge by Psalm. Right. Yeah. The king's courtier tells you that the books of Psalm are a corrupted version of Psalm. Yeah. Right. And the king is telling you to judge by the Psalm. Yeah. So when is he saying judged by the entirety of the books of Psalm? So no. That's a disagreement. Yeah, right? that, that's a disagreement. That's yeah, right. That, that's, that's a contradiction. Right. There's a contradiction. Pure, pure yeah. contradiction here. Because either the king does not know that it is corrupted, yep. or he knows that the corrupted and the normal one exists, yeah. Yeah. and he should also know that I know to differentiate between the two. Yeah, and so right? you, you have so to differentiate the, between only the two. Then so you the have king. to use your fitra and you have to use the everything that's subscribed to you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you have the Quran there, you have your innate fitra, yeah, you have the contradictions there in the books of Psalm. You have plenty there to show you the entire thing. It's not the word of God. Or like the Can I make one point? The word of Psalm, for example. So the entire thing is not the word of Psalm because it has contradictions and Psalm is meant to have many, no contradictions. Um, the yeah, so like if it has contradictions, if um, the king's courtier and the king's empire's understanding is that the books of Psalm are corrupted, then you know you have to take all of this into account when you're looking. When you're finished, can I can I respond? Can I respond? Go ahead. If that's the case, yeah. then 
when the Jews came for to Muhammad, remember the story when the Jews came to Muhammad to give them a decision. He, took, uh, he said, "No, no, no. You cushion. have this. He yeah, took he took the he yeah on. cushion and and oh, sorry, said, leaning, you yeah. have this." He could have. That would no, be the perfect no, no. time to say. No, the, uh, by I the way, that, I know you are coming to me because your word has been corrupted. Yeah. So no, therefore, you are that. coming. In. That's that. fine. I will do the, the judgment for you now yeah. because the corrupted book cannot do it anymore. Now I have a new book for you. It's the Al Quran. Contradiction. Now, okay. this is the way that it should have it gone. It should have gone, but it didn't go that way. Yeah. Didn't go that what way. happened? What is, happened then? What happened? He took the cushion, put it, placed it there, and then he put the book, the kitab, on top of the cushion. Did he say, "I believe in you and the one who sent you"? Yeah, he did. Did okay. he know, not say that this you are corrupted now? So he said there's no, did no he say you are corrupted now? Yeah, and now the analogy. Okay. Let me let me go. Did, back to did he not tell so them? The, was he hiding the fact? Me, was it a deception of Allah? Clear. Yeah, the king is telling me very clearly to judge by this book. Can I address of this? Can I address this? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go so, I'm sorry, I don't have the sources to hand. Yeah, but I'm happy to follow up with you next week or whatever. That where it says that he took it in his hands, I believe that is a weak narration. But did he not say that I believe in you and the one who sent you? I, I can look into it, but I believe that when you're saying like you took the actual book, uh, you took and the put the book, and book put it on, on the, the on the, the pillow, yeah. That part of it is, I believe, a weak narration. Okay, and I can follow up with you now or like whenever, because I know. Right, but but, but did he See, did he not uh, utter the words that I believe in you and you and the uh, one who sent you? That's what I'm saying. That could be. Part oh, that of could be. Uh, uh, be. But but then but then did he? Okay, just a second. Sure. But at that point, when they came for a judgment to him, should he or should he not have done the judgment for them? Like, Where did he right? ask for the book? Yeah, no, but I'm saying right. that if we ask for the book, that's part of the weak narration. If that is okay, the that's fine. No, I'm not. I'm saying that's a weak narration. Sure. Let's reject it. Okay. Right? Yeah. Now, what was supposed he was supposed to do at that point when they came I, to I the judgment for him? The Can you please, situation. in your in your point of view, yeah. Islamic point of view, what was the correct course of action for him at that point? Well, it's whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did. And what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ask? I don't know if I don't know the correct... Well, we know what it is, man. You're making the... No, don't I'm not I, making I, up, Look, making up, look making up. just pull that up. Can you pull up that uh, hadith where it says, you know, when the Jews came to Muhammad to give him a judgment let, let and, he put the, and he said that uh, you have the Torah, the judged by the Torah? Coming back to the analogy. Can you sure. please find so, that? Because the, he's acting like he doesn't know. The king very clearly says, judge listen, listen, if this I can't, book. Sorry, just one second. If I can't address it now, I'm happy to address it another time. But I'm saying that I have seen it was a weak narration. It's not just in the top of my head right now. I'm quite tired. I don't want to sound like, you know... Let's come back to this. Yeah. Uh, the king is saying me to judge by a book that has been corrupted. He knows it has been corrupted. He also, according to you, and not according to the king, right? Because uh, I don't uh, believe that Allah said anything about its corruption. So now, according to you, he said, the king is saying that I know this book is corrupted, but you have to go and do your homework and find out which is the not corrupted and judge by that. Nowhere in the text does it say. I do not know why you are adding to the Quran. In, in the Bible, it says if you add, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. add to it or subtract to it, yeah. you will be dealt with. I yeah. do not know how you can add to the Quran something that is not in the Quran. Because the Quran very clearly says in multiple places that I have to judge with what I have. Yeah, and he right. clearly stated that it, I believe in you and the one who the sent one you. Which is true and the one which is uncorrupt, nothing like that. Muhammad said, I believe in you and the one who sent, who sent you. you. Yeah. Why didn't he say, I don't believe in you, you're a corrupted book. So Allah has given me a replacement for you. Nobody else but Allah saying that the book is corrupted. Then I will understand that what you're saying is right. Because if Allah says one thing and Muhammad contradicts it, because it's a oh, But this hadith is okay. by an almost fiction. unknown no, no, no. hadith writer. He's quoting that. And they're telling me this is a, a superior to Quran. Yeah, I know. Uh, I the, believe in this hadith, not in, the Quran. In fact, I see multiple Muslims saying that wherever the hadith is not in, uh, like in, 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 in agreement, they will go with the Quran. But in this case, he's going the opposite. But that's okay. That's Islam. Okay, here. <sighs> okay, so just give me one second because I want to. I don't like to just make up things in the spot. I have to like verify. Yes, so just take a bit of time. I'm not like doing it for the cameras and stuff. Okay. 
You can keep talking for me. I mean, it's just nothing to say, but the thing is, it's like such a contradictory it's, of the... Okay, so there is a legacy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calling out in the Quran people who distort scriptures with their own hands, okay? So I can give you um, Surah Al-Baqarah, um, verse 79, okay? So woe to those who distort the scripture with their own hands, then say, um, this is from Allah, it's, um, it's in the hadith, it's, uh, seeking a fleeting Muslim. gain. Just a moment. Go, let him finish. Okay, so so let woe him finish. to those who distort the scripture with yeah. their own hands, mm -hmm. then say, this is from Allah, yeah. seeking a fleeting gain. Yeah. So woe to them who, for what their hands have written, and woe mm -hmm. to them for what they have done. Okay. okay, where does it say the so Bible is when, corrupted? When, when hold on, hold on, hold on. Scripture. Was the uh, Gospel of Thomas not considered scripture? That was a heretical scripture, according but it was called the, a scripture. Church, yeah. yeah, right. So they, if that's that scriptures that were being yeah, yeah, yeah. so so if they were writing these scriptures and call, uh, making money on it, that's why. Where does it say the Injil? Woe to the Injil writers who corrupted the Injil or the Torah. It doesn't say that. Oh, you're taking something and making it sound like it does. No, but the Hadith yeah. has the same word. Mm. Like it's talking in a similar way. So there, it's giving. But have you got? Does the Hadith say Injil? As the Quran doesn't say Injil. Injil says, says uh, have they uh, distorted the Injil? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Brother, can okay. you can you address that? Sure. He, he's actually saying, but even if it is not that hurry to, uh, that thing uh, as well, it's still a problem because it doesn't say that the Bible has been corrupted. Okay. Yeah. Now he's saying that verse was revealed when for the stoning and they tried to cover the verse in. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, 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 sure. So, sure. so, so, that, so it, it, it is but there. I'm, yeah. They're trying to cover it, right? To or to conceal it. Yeah. Now, that absolutely has nothing to do with no, the, the written word. If yeah. you tell me today I, I didn't, I didn't that say, I'm I covering said. a certain part of my Bible yeah. or yeah. I'm omitting a certain right. passage in my Bible, right. then you have some right to say, no, no, no you, you should not, you should take the with whole. Their with their hand. Oh, with their hand. hand. He's saying this no, covering no, no, with the hand. They put their hand on that uh, the, the, the text. stoning. Yeah. The text, text stoning. Thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, I, I agree. Yeah. I just this said, I, that's why it says just to clarify, just to clarify, because I was really careful. I said that there's a legacy of that being mentioned in the Quran, that scripture can be disrupted. Yeah. Yes, even the Quran but, can. Yeah. People think no, 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 I, no, I no. can take the Quran yeah, and just cover, cover it myself. Cover it myself. Okay, yeah. I, I wasn't it. saying. I wasn't saying. Maybe I'm. No, can I, I do that in the Quran towards as well? the end? But originally, I was making the point that. Yeah, the Quran does describe scripture as can be distorted, and then Correct. I said, yeah. so now that can be done to the yeah, but that well. doesn't mean that the Bible is uh, corrupted. You see, distorting Quran something and, and corrupting it is two different things. Right. So it it doesn't apply only to the Bible; it can also apply to the Quran. Yeah. So now is the Quran corrupted? <laughs> so Muhammad used the judgment of the Jews from yeah. their book. Yeah. So it does prove that their that book is, 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 is authentic. Is valid, authentic. It's authentic. Is my friend, the, oh, wait, the, sorry, sorry, what was that? What you said? Muhammad used the judgment from the book of the church. Yeah, but I'm saying the Torah, that the, 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 the Torah yeah. that he put on the cushion, and then it, I'm saying that is a weak narration according to what I've read before. I can't find the source right now, but I can. Is that a weak narration? Which hadith did you read? It's a Bukhari or Muslim. Both of them mentioned but the, the well, story. The, the, yeah. But that, of them that element the of. The, yeah. One of them, I think, mentions about it being put on a book and then putting no, it inside. No, no, two of them mentioned the Bukhari and Muslim mentioned the story, the same story. Same how, story, sure, yeah. sure, but I'm saying no, no, the, no, bit where, the bit where it's different. One. This is a okay. different hoodie. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's talking about the, the ah, one taking the cushion and yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's no, a different hoodie. Okay, okay, okay. No worries. Yeah, I was talking about that. No worries. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, so what I'm saying is. No, I, I think it's yeah, I think let, Let's conclude. Yeah, let's conclude. Yeah, sure. Anyway, um, you want to put your... Uh, uh, yeah, my conclusion is that... Go ahead. Um, no, I, I just want to make it clear that the scripture that the Jewish revolt had a massive impact on early Christianity, okay? And I want you to know that what was... Um, what is written as the Gospels today is a corrupted version of the message of Isa alayhi salam that was toned down by Hellenized Jews in order to make it you know, like but why didn't make... Allah say that when he was saying that? Why did he keep saying, reaffirming that the Bible is uh, is authentic? He's saying, I believe in you and, uh, and the one who sent you. Yeah, Judge by this book that's given to you. Though. Yeah, but I'm saying... So, so uh, that yeah, would be the place where Allah would say... We, and then we talked about that in terms of like the books of Psalm and then we had a difference of opinion about like, you know, when if 
the books of Psalm and if that correlates with what actually Psalm taught and if the king says go by Psalm what Psalm what the, okay sorry I'm never saying yeah, no I got but what you're saying yeah, yeah, bro so saying you're saying that Allah is saying Psalm. go by the authentic Anjil yeah, yeah, that I sent you yeah, yeah. yeah but then Muhammad is taking a corrupted Anjil and saying I, I believe in you and the one who, who revealed you how do yeah, you but I'm saying I'm saying that bit is might be a weak narration. I just need to see that. I can look into it now. If you no, no, no. I mean, it's up to you if you want to do it. That's up to you. But the sure. thing is, there's several places in the so, Quran. So if there's several places. There's none that, that say. Justify, justify that's in several places. Then you said this. Yes. In several places. So and none of them yeah. ever. Yeah. Yes. So and none of them says. Yeah. That the that the uh, Injil is a, is 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 a, it is the, a valid you know, book for me to judge. Yeah. By. Uh, he said, "Judge by this, uh, you know. Why would they come Judge to me? They have the other, right? Okay. Okay. Well, by so, your own admission, there was heretical groups in the Hijaz Peninsula at that time, right? Right. And they Muhammad all didn't had know their own gospels, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when it says judged by the Injil, is it talking about your gospels or their gospels? Well, no, no, no. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. But that gonna hurt your point of view. Why is gonna hurt my point? It's because Muhammad took It's talking the about the original Injil, sorry. No, ahead. no. So when Muhammad took the Injil, yeah. did he have the original or the distorted one? Yeah, I'm saying we don't know the entire situation at the time, right? Because Ebionites, as I Me, mentioned, we don't know. have their scripture. We don't have their scripture right now. And Ebionites, they were a dying sect and then they Ebionites, completely as became as extinct. Concerned, they used the same scripture that we have. Uh, probably yeah. slight differences. No, no, even they if they did. Paul, no. They rejected yeah. Paul, they did. No, 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 because, they didn't. Because you know where in Acts 21 they or Acts Gnostics, 15. Gnostics, man, they were Acts, Gnostics. In Acts 21 or Acts 15, where um, Paul is called to the temple to repent, why is he called, what is the punishment he's called? That why is he told to come to the temple by James? To fulfill the law, he made a vow. To fulfill. If you look in the original he, um, Greek, he it says apostasy. Uh, the Greek word for apostasy, right? So Paul, no, I'm saying, if you go to the Greek, he went to the temple to shave his head. If That's you go, what if you go, about, right? Yeah, yeah. That was, that was no, but about. why was what was he being accused of in order to do that? He to fulfill a vow, a promise that he had made. No, but he was being accused of something, and what he was being accused of was apostasy, right? He can was you, being can accused. Sure, sure. Because I, I can't that, do it right now because it's like no, it's raining. It's raining. It's okay. Okay. Just let, let it go. So he's being accused of apostasy. So that's why the Ebionites rejected Paul because they said he. He didn't. He was an apostate. He didn't okay, care about. Okay, let's forget about the Ibn Ais right now. Let's so, just go to your Quran and sure, your Hadith. Sure, sure. You're telling me that I'm going to go with the Hadith uh, because it's saying that the Injil was corrupted. Ibn Abbas said that, so I'm going to go with Ibn Abbas, not and Allah. And also the Hadith I gave you from uh, Hakim as well. That's fine. So yeah. you believe in the Hadith, not the Quran, because the Quran doesn't say that. No, actually, I mean this is just showing uh, your lack of understanding of Islam. Like in the Quran, like there is a verse: "You can't live a will when you're dying. You can't live a will." Uh, I forget the, which uh, chapter it's this. Okay. So if you die. But in Hadith, Muhammad say you can't leave a will when you're dying. Uh, and Muslim Sunni say you can't, they use the Hadith now, they don't use the Quran. So that, they say Hadith abrogated the Quran. You're ex Muslim, right? So that's, so uh, that's you're, a you're ex Muslim, right? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Is his argument making sense to you? Or is my argument making sense? About uh, the, the Indian, corruption of Injil. No. The, and say clearly it wasn't corrupted. So the verses of the Quran. I just gave you hadiths. But I, I take the Quran, you take the hadith, I take the Quran. No, but you've got Quran to read the Quran in the light of the hadith, sorry. What? Are you reading it I thought you had to read the uh, hadith in the light of Quran. No, oh, you're turning no, it saying, over I'm around saying, now. I'm saying to him, like you're reading it from your interpretation of the Quran, right? No, what is more authentic, your interpretation of the Quran or the Prophet's interpretation of the Quran? I'm reading it because there's a story behind it. These verses, there's a story behind it. One say, take what's in the Torah, is gospel. You read the story, what is the reason Muhammad received these verses? And you read the story of that woman or the other, that's proof that the injury wasn't corrupted at that time. But why is Ibn Abbas saying that it's corrupted? Why, and distorted by the people of the book with their own hands? Why why is the Prophet that's proof there is a contradiction that's not proof that there is a contradiction Bukhari hadith said Warqa bin Nufil used to read the Injil Sam, yeah. I just read it and what you're Bukhari saying Bukhari is a fraudery no 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 okay let's let's finish it Bukhari said that you know Bukhari said clearly Warqa bin Nufil was reading the Injil Sorry, okay, in to, Arabic do you want to do the wrap up and then I'll do I'm, I'm doing it okay this is a wrap up so Bukhari has said there was in Jeel that Warqa bin Nofal was reading. It's in the uh, 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 sunnah.com. I read it in front of them. Thousands
Okay, so that means that there was in jail that was authentic because either they can say you know there was no in jail or it was even night in jail that was something else and this and that but muhammad took the in jail several times and said i believe in you the one who sent you judge by this book all this time they had a chance to say don't judge by this book i don't believe in you you have been corrupted it never happened only in hadith revision after hundreds of years somebody comes along and say my grandfather father's father's uncle said this and he's going to believe that, but not the Quran. But when it comes to Muta, Quran says Muta is okay, but Hadith says it's not okay. He's going to go with the Hadith. So I don't know if Quran is the the book of Islam or is Hadith. And then sometimes they say it's correct. Some of them are correct, some of them not. So this is how they go, and they want us to say they, they want us to believe that they have the right word, and we are distorted. Well, they have so many different distortions there. It's unbelievable how they can even imagine that this can happen. So I mean, first of all, if you corrupt the Bible, you have to corrupt all the copies of the Bible. Because the Bible which was preached, it was, it was preached to all the areas. They all had written, handwritten copies of the Bible. If I corrupt your Bible, I have to go to thousands of people and corrupt each one of their Bible in the same manner. None of that. That's impossible what they're saying. And that's already that's impossible as well. That's impossible. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you it's in different languages. You go to a Greek guy, he's writing it in Greek. You go to a Latin guy, he's writing it in Latin. You go to an Arab guy, he's writing it in Arab. You're gonna go to all of them and don't know change this, change that. What are you doing? Ethiopian. Ethiopian. All of these people had a, uh, have corrupted their Bible. Are the same? They didn't have the internet. Are they saying they have the internet? They send an email to everybody, change everything. That was an email. Fax came or whatever. Text. Well, how did they corrupt okay, it, man? Are we, are we doing a monologue or we that's it. Uh, no, that's right. fine. So, yeah, I, I, Christians often say this argument that, you know, that the Muslims, that we uh, are teaching Christians, that their book is undistorted. I've given you clear proofs from the Hadith literature that... The Not from the Quran. Did I interrupt you? No, you didn't. So why are you being charged? <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, so I've given, um, I've given Christians clear proof from the Hadith literature. I've given clear proof from the Hadith literature in Sayyid al-Bukhari um, 2685 um, where Ibn Abbas narrates that the Prophet was teaching that the Bible, that, that the Christians understand as in the Gospels have been distorted. I also gave um, many references for this hadith by Al-Hakim al-Mustadr. It's also related by Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Um, yeah, so I've given you plenty of hadiths um, there which talk about the Bible being, um, the New Testament, the Gospel being distorted um, in its writing. That was the understanding of the Sahaba and the Dabi that the Bible was distorted, it wasn't in its original form, right? The Quran comes as a criterion for the people of the book to judge by their, to judge their scripture by the Quran as well as for Muslims to judge the old scriptures by their Quran. The Quran is sufficient for Muslims. Um, all of our understanding comes from the Quran. I invite you to read the Quran for yourselves. Um, look how it connects to your innate disposition, to your fitra. Um, don't believe these people. They, they don't even know what God they worship because last time I talked to Uncle Sam, he was saying that he believes the same God as the Catholics, but he doesn't. So now we are now. Now I'm going to interrupt because now you're now you're no no no. You're, you're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to do that. I've always stayed on topic, haven't I? Right? No, no, no. You are going off topic now. Don't do that. Okay. I knew it was off topic. Now, now, I've been on topic the whole time. Okay. Let, let's stay on topic because I'm sure. going to finish with one thing. Because sure. when was the Bible corrupted? Just give us that on the camera sure. because it's just a summary. Yeah. When sure. was it so corrupted? You look, um, you Christians, um, I admire the fact that you all care a lot about historicity, and that's a very good thing. So I'm inviting you to use that historical element. Look into when your Bible was written. When the New Testament was written, in particular. So no, no. What's your point of view? Don't ask us. Yeah, to look, okay, okay, to so, give us yours. Yeah, so what I'm saying Wrap up, is, yeah. if you look at the early church tradition, if you look at like the early church fathers, like the first church father, Clement of Rome, he was the cousin of the Emperor Domitian, according to tradition. So there's clear links. Um, of he was the, the first church father. He was one of the first three church fathers, with Polycarp and Irenaeus. Yeah. So anyway. Um, yeah, so what I'm saying is there is a heavy influence of, So the Bible was corrupted in 70 AD or when? Just give us the timeline. Of course these things are so old. How can I say like it was corrupted in March? No, no, no. You, you made a statement earlier, no, I'm right? I'm saying that the Bible 
The Gospels, from my understanding, were written by Hellenized Jews in the European diaspora after the Jewish revolt. They're terrified for their lives because of the heavy anti-Semitism in the Roman Empire. The Romans have destroyed Jerusalem. They, um, these Hellenized Jews wanted a version of Christianity that is different from the original Christianity. The original Christianity was a Jewish type of Christianity where um, the Jerusalem church had established a practice of following the Old Testament laws um, they had a practice of um, not deifying the figure of Isa alayhi salam. They had a practice of being very anti-Roman. And these people were eliminated in the Jewish revolt. In the, in the aftermath of the Jewish revolt, the Jewish diaspora in Europe needed to come and change their religion away from the original teachings in order to survive as a community. And what they did was that they wrote the Gospels after the year 70 AD in order to do that, in order to make a more, a less anti-Roman gospel, which was more in line with the old gospel, the original gospel, and to turn it into an anti-Semitic gospel. Okay, it's a because speech. It's turning into, into a speech. Can you just you wrap up, please? Um, yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm finishing up. So when you look into like the way Pontius Pilate is depicted in the Gospels as a, um, as you know, it's alleviating a lot of the responsibility of the suffering of Isa alayhi salam from the high priest. And so when the was the uh, onto the Jewish people, gospel the corrupted? Jewish people. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying the Gospels were corrupted in order to fulfill the Roman agenda and in order to make the um, Hellenized Jewish diaspora in Europe survive and feel comfortable in a Roman Empire that is very anti-Semitic. All right. That's it. Thank you, Tay. Thank so, you for the for this for your time and. Would you mind having a, a, a part two of this sometimes? I, I need to follow up on Can a few I also give some? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. All right. So, uh, would you be okay with this part two? Can we uh, do. Uh, yeah, I just find it hard when there's like three of you. I think it's no, no, I'll, I'll do one it one with one you. One. I'll do yeah. it one on one. I, I don't feel like conversation. I get All right, we'll, we'll do one on one, yeah? Okay, no, no, thank you. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Yeah, go okay, ahead. So, I just want to address some of the. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you do your wrap up, yeah. Uh, you you don't have to leave. If you are you gonna leave? Uh, yeah, sure. no. If, if you can stay, sure. Because I'm addressing the points oh, okay, that you're okay, you're raising in your in cameras. the wrap up. Yep. Because um, what, what we were talking about is the corruption of the Injil, which uh, Muslims say has been corrupted, but nowhere in the Quran does the Quran tell us that the Injil was corrupted in any way. Uh, and why this is so important? Because Allah tells in tells the Christians in multiple places to judge by the book that they have. And if we are going to judge by a book that we have, and Allah knows that it's corrupted, and then doesn't say it is, then then we have a so problem. So the continuation of the deception fact, of Allah. Exactly, it could be the deception of Allah, or it could be that Allah just didn't know that the, the gospels are corrupted. I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. So, um, and, and, and if the hadith is going to say that the gospels have been corrupted, and Allah is telling us to judge by by some a book which is already over there. Um, it's, it's clearly a contradiction. Now, God didn't address the contradiction at all. Uh, all he says is, because it's corrupted, we have to go back to the Quran and see what is true in the Quran and then go back to the Gospels. This is in addition to the, the, uh, the, the Quran. The Quran is, is supposed to be so he's ignoring the contradiction book. there. The Quran is supposed to be a clear book without any contradictions and easy for us to understand. Now, if it is that clear, it would have told us that we have to judge only what is true in the Gospel. It didn't say that. That's adding to the Quran. And uh, uh, the, the brother has done that. Then he spoke about the gospel being corrupted right in the 80s, uh, at, the, at the time it was written around the 80s, 70. Now, if it was corrupted around that time, then we have a worse problem with Allah because Allah should have known from the very time the gospel was uh, written, they, it was already corrupted. Then, as Uncle Sam was asking, what was um, uh, Boraka bin Nafil writing? Was he Boraka writing bin a, corrupt, Nafil, yeah. a corrupted gospel? Yeah. Because if it was corrupted right at the source, then yeah, what it, was he was, reading? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who, who was writing? And uh, we also established the fact, a historical fact, and this nobody can deny. Uh, the Codex Sinaiticus, which is in the British Museum, was written around the year 8300, or just after the 8300. Um, the Vaticanus, uh, which is written around the same time. Um, the uh, the Ethiopian Gospels, which Muhammad's companions went to the Ethiopian Church, and they had access to these Gospels. They also knew these Gospels. So if, if all of these things were available, and we have it today, which you can see, and um, it, it, it's the same oh, and it hasn't been changed, then where are we getting these contradictions from? Obviously, somebody, somebody later on in the Sahaba or maybe later on decided, you know what, the Gospels are actually contradicting right. the Quran. The, so therefore, the early Islam for the first 200 years, it never said 
that the gospel but like afterwards this is like afterwards. in the 200 years because islam was created 200 years after the, the, the muhammad this whole narrative was put together by the hadith that's why you have hadith after 200 years because now they want to say hey wait a minute we got to change our narrative here you have to so that's to change the revisionist why don't, why don't revisionist why don't we do this okay next Go ahead. time we um, talk about the validity of the hadith right so the history of the hadith we you're, can we can talk about that because you're making all these claims that the hadith are 200 years later mm -hmm. so like let's actually address that and let's mm -hmm. focus on that mm -hmm. and then if yeah, that but but the case, but then in that in that topic we will have the hadith complements the quran or does the hadith contradict the quran how so about there's that? no there's no way like you're just going to keep shifting the goalposts because you're saying now that well no 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 i'm not going to give you a platform to just come and like go on and on about the hadith if you want to make a point of the hadith you have to uh, put that hadith in in comparison to your quran is it complementing the quran or is it against the quran because you say some of these are, are are authentic some aren't how do you know well i know because the hadith that does not contradict the quran is sahih hadith is that not true so, sorry, repeat that. Okay. So, like the, 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 the when you want to talk to me about Quran, hadith, it has to be Quran, in yeah. relation to your Quran. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because hadith is explaining and adding sure. to the Quran. Sure. Sure. So, when you do that, you either have to tell me that the hadith are to complement Quran, or is it okay if the hadith contradict the Quran, we'll go by the hadith even sure. if it contradicts sure. the Quran. Sure. So, you have to put that into perspective. Sure, sure. And I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm just saying, just to finally wrap up, that the um, the injil and you're saying is contradicting because in the hadiths it's saying that the injil is corrupted right and then in the quran it's saying the injil is not not corrupted i'm saying when the quran is saying the injil is not corrupted and i'm saying when you look at the hadith and you look at the quran it's not teaching contradictory things because the quran is not teaching that the injil is not corrupted that's all i'm saying <laughs> no okay. no no so when we talk quran about hadith teaching, we can uh, next time if we talk talk yeah, about hadith any, we have to put it in perspective of like you know compared to the quran that hadith either contradicts or it complements the quran and if it contradicts, can you take that hadith as authentic or yeah. not? Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, I'm saying it's not contradicting because the Quran doesn't... Right, well then you're going to show us sure. that it does not. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus is Lord, Islam is from the pits of hell. I'm out. <laughs>